I've been meaning to make this video for a while. A lot of people have been asking me how I rig up my worms when I'm bait fishing. So I tied up three liters here. These are the three most common ways I'll rig up a worm. You know, least often, I'll just gob it up on a hook. This can be good for rough fish or really aggressive panfish. Um, most of the time I'll rig up a worm this way, where I try and keep it straight in a line and bury the shank of the hook in the front end of the worm and leave the hook point exposed. Ideally, I like to do this with a live worm, um, especially for shy game fish. Live worms are almost always better. In the current, when I'm suspending these baits with a three-way slip sinker rig, like on a current breaker in the main flow of the current, this tail will be whipping around with a lot of action that triggers fish. And uh, when it's just sitting in the still water, this tail will be whipping around from the nightcrawler being alive and, and just wriggling. You know, and both of those are just great for shy game fish when, they're, when the worm's rigged up this way. Uh, third way is the same way as the second way, but I'll pinch the worm right in the middle here and cut in half. And this way can be great for uh, panfish that are, are aggressive or in between shy and aggressive. You know, as long as they can pick it up, you can set the hook on them right away because the hook points towards the end of the bait. And you can uh, lip hook them a lot easier. When you fish for panfish with this one, you have to let them run with it. Usually, especially sunfish. And they'll swallow the hook a lot more often because it's hard to time when exactly they're done eating it down to the hook point. With this, it's a lot easier to time. So whenever I can get away with this with panfish, I'd rather use this and get a better hook in them. I also have a trick though for rigging worms. You know, there's a lot of different types of hooks out there. Single point hooks for live bait rigging. There's octopus hooks, there's Aberdeen hooks, there's bait holder hooks, there's circle hooks, and there's other hooks as well. Now most of the time when people want to rig a worm like this in a straight line, or like this, without having them slide down the shank of the hook. They'll use a, uh, a uh, bait holder hook that has little bait barbs on the shank that are pointing backwards the same direction as the hook point. And those barbs will keep it from sliding down. You know, these worms will slide down either from the current pushing on them or from the momentum during the cast. And I don't like them sliding down, so I found a way to turn other hooks into a bait holder hook effectively. Um, this trick works almost as well as the bait barbs on a bait holder hook. Basically, I, I, I'll take this Aberdeen here because I use Aberdeens a lot. I'll take this worm, just start burying its head into the hook point. And I'll slide it up a little bit, and then I'll take the hook point and I'll pop it out just a tiny bit. Less is more when you do this. It'll work better if you pop it out just a tiny bit, and then pop it back in. Then slide it the rest of the way up and pop it out. And then I'll work the, the worm up the line a little bit. And then you'll notice the eye of the hook will pop in that, that little hole that we made when we popped it out. You'll feel it click. And that click is the skin um, expanding and then contracting. And that hook point popping out of the hole that we made. Or not the hook point, the hook eye popping out of the hole. And when it pops out, it basically forms a little bait holder. Um, it doesn't really want to go back into the worm. See how it's stuck? And that'll keep that worm from sliding down. And this is the way, when I'm using Aberdeen, that I'll, I'll rig up a worm. I rig worms this way more than any other way. By a long shot, because it works great. And it lets me use whatever type of hook I want to use. 